Hello Galactic Family. The Creator. Question Masters, could you tell us more about our Creator? I know that our Creator is unconditional love, but does he slash she really live in a specific dimension? Does he slash she communicate with us through a channel like you? Where did this love come from? How many creators are there in the universe? Rachel, Canada. Answer the word creator causes some potential difficulties in understanding the source, God, creator, whatever term you prefer, did not create, be God, or souls of other substances within the universe, but used its own essence and broke or separated pieces of themselves so that they had their own consciousness and experiences which could vary from their own experiences of the Source. The essence of the Source is unconditional love, and exists in a space that abounds only in positive energy. She knows what it is, but since she never existed in negativity, she did not appreciate the powers and abilities she possessed in having to make choices to remain positive. For example, Someone who has only lived in a tempered climate has no idea what it is like to freeze and live in a winter climate. Dimensions are not physical spaces. The Source and their separate souls have no physical bodies unless they choose to come to a planet like Earth. They are amorphous masses of energy, like clouds, that can be in one place, or in many, depending on your desires. When we speak of dimensions, we refer mainly to the places or stages along a soul's journey through negativity and its work through the lessons, to its return to unconditional love. We also use the term to distinguish between a physical being who spends a lot of time on unconditional love and a soul that exists solely in the non-physical state of unconditional love. The Source is aware of everything that happens, wherever it is happening. On occasion, she has a desire to communicate with souls who have physical experiences, and does this by generally transferring thoughts to this person. Most of the time she will observe and see how the individual guides of each soul intercede and establish physical communication with non-physical communication. The source only is has always been and always will be. It is the only source of energy of everything that exists in our universe. When is the moment of the divorce? Question Masters, my marriage is almost over, but I am still with him because we have a baby together and I'm afraid he'll suffer if we break up. I'm hoping that when she gets a little older I can explain the situation to her. Am I making it right for her while staying in an unhappy marriage? My husband will not change for the better, so I cannot see any reconciliation. Adriana, Brazil. Answer children are extremely sensitive to the energies around them. They know how their parents are feeling with each other and how each is reacting to each other's actions. Even as a baby, she understands that you are not happy. If the situation gets more difficult, when she gets older, she may find that her problems are brought on by her presence, which would be a bit accurate in this case since you are getting into negative marriage because of her. It is true that your husband does not see that this behavior is causing him anguish. He is very selfish and thinks that you should change your expectations to suit your actions. It's not that he cannot change. He will not change unless he changes his current way of looking at life. He is happy being a father as long as it does not interfere with what he wishes to do. When fetuses discuss their future before coming to earth, they know the potential for the difficulties they could face. Her daughter knew that entry into her family could lead to a separation in a short time after her arrival. Of course, she now has amnesia about it, but wanted to see how she would handle this if she did. All souls have the free will to direct their human life. Even with your daughter in the mix, you need to decide what is the best outcome for you. It will not be good for you to become more and more anxious and unhappy, 
imagining what is affecting your daughter and ignoring what is causing her to be unhappy. Dealing with attractions. Question Masters, grateful for your answers. I was married seven years ago to someone I loved. I was not willing to get married at the time of the wedding, but I was forced to marry for emotional blackmail and I had to accept it. I tried to get away from him a few times, but it never worked and I know the reason too, because I went through a few hypnosis sessions and saw the past. After knowing, I thought he was my life and I tried to be happy. Now, surprisingly, someone else has come into my life and I feel that he is my soul mate because the emotions are very intense. He is also engaged. I would like to know what my next step is, Deepika, United States. Answer life lessons have many layers with them. You are studying many things romantic love, family love, sexual attraction, emotional love and energetic love. Your reactions to all of these may have beginnings, means and ends. What is fantastic for some time becomes boring, or the other person changes and you find time to move on to something else. You are also dealing with control issues, how you let others dictate to you, and accepting that you have free will for what actions to take. Accepting that you can make choices brings the need to feel comfortable with the responsibility for the outcome of these decisions. This is something you are just noticing now. You are drawn to your husband because of the energy of past lives. In all these situations you have been completely controlled by him, and since this has worked, you feel that is what you should do now. Do not agree blindly to let this change your current decisions. The lessons you had in those lives had to do with realizing your own powers and rescuing your decision-making process from others. You have not learned it. And unless you make the change in this life, you will be seeing the same pattern in the future. This new person is not your soulmate, but he's someone who cares about you, without the element of trying to control her, that's why he looks so different. He is around to give you the feeling of uncontrolled love. He is dealing with issues in your relationship that are similar to yours. Each one of you has total free will. So what follows is with you. This new sensation is love without demands. There are others who may cause the same feeling in you if given the chance. It is time to evaluate your position with your husband, considering that he controls your world. Nothing is right or wrong in the learning process, but you do not have to get stuck in a path. The future is up to you. Reincarnation Guide Katia from Brazil asks the masters I would love to understand my relationship with my ex-husband, who is very upset after the separation. Our son has many conflicts, he seems to hate me and does not want to see me happy. It's been five years since we split up and your behavior remains the same. I always do Haoponopono in prayers. What else can I do to heal this relationship? Answer no matter what you do, you cannot change their attitude toward you unless they choose to change. Your ex convinced your son that it's all your fault. He will have to grow up to see the deception in this opinion. All you can do is continue to send positive and loving energy to the two with the intention that they understand that it is better for you to be separated. Pradha from India asks the masters I want to know the purpose of my soul. Is it being fulfilled by being with my family, husband and daughters? Or do I have to find a separate path? Explain also the life lessons associated with my husband, daughters, and parents. Answer you came to earth to learn who you are as a soul, and what powers and abilities come with this status. Your family has created countless different lessons for you to deal with them and their problems. Everyone is in their own way, but they need others to help them show them the situations from which they can learn. 
his lessons are those that are accompanied by fears and doubts. Understanding them is learning why you and they are here. JL, from Brazil, asks the masters I'm dating a boy and I love him. I know he loves me too. We've been together for two years. He accepts me with my mistakes and together, we grow. Last year, I met another guy who thinks he likes me, who likes the things I like. Sometimes I get confused. I love both, but not in the same way. I wonder if I'm on the right track and if the second is from my soul family. Answer these men are in your life so that you can explore the different types of love. Your lessons include that of discernment, which is the thing with which you can learn more. Nothing is right or wrong from a spiritual perspective, so examine the feelings for each one and see what resonates most with you. You had no life with any of them in the past. MRS, from Brazil, asked the masters could you please clarify me about my husband's relationship with his mother? Were they husband and wife in past lives? She is a very controlling and manipulative person, so any information about the root of her life lesson together will be of great value. Also, I need to ask about something that is currently happening. She has treated me badly for a long time and now, all of a sudden, she is treating me very well, to be true. Is it a true repentance? A sudden burden of guilt or just a role she's playing? Answer your mother-in-law is afraid that she is losing her son to you. He has always been a very accommodating person and lately he listens to her rather than his mother. She has decided that it is not a bad thing and therefore wants to reconcile with you. Extend your hand in friendship and see if it will continue to follow this harmonious path. Daniel from Brazil asks the Masters is our divine complement to inflame part of our Mona's soul group also one of the 144 soulmates? Answer of course, the soulmate is the last energy that has separated from the Creator at the same time as you. A total of 144, half before and half later, make up his Monad. Lydia, from Brazil asks the masters how to put aside all fears, insecurities and doubts and begin to be powerful? I want to be the best version of myself and live the best life I can live. Answer fears and doubts are your life lessons, you came here to learn. Find out what they are and understand them and they will disappear, becoming a part of your power. These are all negative energies and your true self is positive. Among these negative things in your life, decide why they are there, and turn them into positive knowledge. You will become as close to your unconditionally loving essence as possible while in a human body. Maya from Sri Lanka asks the masters I met this 29 year old boy 5 months ago. I knew him as a person, but I never talked to him, but I always felt that his face was familiar. He married later and divorced three months later. We started talking suddenly and shared every detail of each and I felt I already knew it. He is not ready for a relationship because he says he is afraid of falling in love again, even though he finds me comfortable. Can I know if this person is from a soul of the past? Answer you have known this soul before. He has no memory of your energy but he likes you as a person. He is going through a very difficult life when it comes to relationships and is afraid of misinterpreting other people to his detriment. That is why he is not prepared to attempt a relationship with you. Give it time and always express your truth with it. Be yourself, do not become what you think he might like to attract your attention, because it will keep you from you. Suski from Finland asks the masters can I get an answer to an important question of my life? My youngest son has been going through a very complicated phase for years. I've tried to get help for him for years, and I guess that did not help. What should I do with him? 
He is depressed and has neurological problems. Where can I get help for him? How can I help you? I've tried a lot. Answer your child chose to experience these difficulties, and you chose to be your mother to see what anguish you were having. He is not prepared to deal with his problems now. Be patient with him. He is frustrated and struggling against any assistance at this time. Send him unconditional love with the intention that he find his way, it is up to him to embark on any form of healing. Deborah from Brazil asks the masters my eldest son live for a long time. Would you like to know how my family and I can help you? Answer everyone makes their own choices in life. They decide when to come to earth, when to leave, what they will do while they are here, and how they will interact with others. All you can do for the other is to send you unconditional love with the intention of being able to accomplish what you want. Fernanda from Brazil asks the masters I have had some sensory experiences that it seems that other people are just waiting to do bad things with me, hoping I am distracted. It's as if all the people around me know something I do not know. What this means? Answer your situation means that you feel you have to be persecuted by others. Whenever you seek difficulties, you give him entrance into your life. It's like you raise a big poster that says I know you want to do bad things with me, so just do them. Begin to think of yourself as a perfect person, as good as everyone else and entitled to all the benefits of life. Put yourself in a bubble of unconditional love that cannot be penetrated by any negativity. Luz from Brazil asks the masters I would like to understand why I have attracted the opposite of the things I wanted in my life, full of instability, changes of places, without finding the kind of partner with whom I would like to be. I want to understand if this is something karmic or the fact that I have many expectations. Answer you have expectations of what you want regardless of what is possible for your status and what you chose to come to do, which conflicts with what you think you need. This is not karmic because it implies a punishment and this has only to do with learning. When you learn why fears and doubts are in your life and understand your lessons included, you are ready to begin to manifest some of the things you want. Rajan from India asks the masters I believed in Christianity until I found the book Journey of Souls a few months ago. After that I believe in reincarnation and I have been reading a lot about the subject and practicing meditation. Your messages have been very useful. She's under treatment and she's better now. Is there a life lesson for her or for both of us? If so, what is it? Will she overcome this problem that has put a pause in her studies and career? Answer Christianity and many other religions include the mention of reincarnation. Your lesson here is that you can choose which beliefs you will have in your life and which old beliefs will no longer serve you. You can accept the standards of others as a religion, or you can get involved with things that appeal to you. Manisha is on her own journey and is doing very well. It is strong and is being tested to see its adaptability. You, too, are dealing with her problems to understand how to deal with something over which you have no control.